Hello. So this video is about the general biology concept. So uh, today I am going to tell you about the RNA interference. I am trying to explain this concept in a very concise way. So let's get a start with this. So the question is explain the events that occur in the host cell on introduction of nematode resistant gene in the into the tobacco plant. So the host cell is here. Uh, the host cell here is tobacco. And uh, the nematode resistant genes uh, we have to introduce in, the, in this tobacco plant to prevent it uh, from the infection of the nematode. So uh, before attempting uh, this question, uh, I want to tell you a background story about this uh, event which is happening here. So the event is like that, uh, here is a nematode. So nematodes are basically Ascalmanthus, a worm which, is, uh, which causes infection to this tobacco plant and the infection occurs in the roots. So this nematode causes infection in the roots of this plant and forms the node. So this is also known as root node formation disease, which results in the decrease in the yield of decrease in the yield of uh, this tobacco plant. So we have to prevent this. Uh, ye, uh, we have to prevent this uh, decrease in the yield of this plant. So for that, we are going to introduce some nematode resistant gene in this plant and how we are going to do that. So let me explain you uh, step by step. So uh, nematode have its own DNA and uh, DNA forms RNA. Uh, from DNA it forms its mRNA and from uh, mRNA it forms the infectious protein. And this infectious protein is responsible for this knot formation. So we have to interfere uh, with this DNA of the nematode so that it does not uh, form the, uh, the, it does not form this disease. Okay, so for that, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to stop this mRNA from the formation of the protein with the help of the mechanism which is known as RNA interference. Okay, so the mechanism here is RNA interference. We are going to interfere with this mRNA of the nematode. So uh, for this, uh, I would like to tell you about this mechanism on the next page. So how does this RNA interference gonna occur? So for this, we have agrobacterium demifacient. This is a bacteria which have Ti plasmid. This is the plasmid of Agrobacterium trimifacient and this plasmid contains a tDNA. This is the segment which is known as tDNA. This tDNA is responsible for the infection to the plant and that causes the tumor. So what we are going to do, we are going to replace this uh, tDNA with the with our desired nematode specific genes. So we have nematode specific genes we are going to replace this tRNA with nematode specific gene and we are going to make this plasmid a recombinant plasmid okay a recombinant plasmid so for this we are going to add this this is nematode specific gene so we have done this and then uh, we culture this bacteria with the plant tissues and this uh, recombinant plasmid gets entered into the plant cells now this entered into the plant cells now after entering into the plant cell, the plant got developed the ability to resist itself from the nematode infection. Okay. And what, uh, how does this plant going to do that? So let me explain you. So we have entered this recombinant DNA into the host cell. This is the recombinant DNA. And this is the recombinant DNA. So we had inserted this DNA segment into the plant cell. Now this DNA segment form sense as well as antisense RNA and that is known as double stranded RNA. So double stranded RNA formation occurs in the tobacco plant. So this all is happening inside the tobacco plant. So the question was about the events happening in the host. So first is this uh, segment gets expressed itself and forms the double stranded RNA. Now this double stranded RNA uh, gets spliced into the small interferon RNA. Okay, with the help of dicer. So dicer here is a ribonuclease. So let us assume this is a double stranded RNA and this double stranded RNA got dissected by the dicer which is a ribonuclease and these small strands of DNA uh, are present now inside the uh, tobacco plant. So these, these strands are known as small interferon RNA. Okay, so these are basically complementary RNA se segments with the nematode mRNA. Okay. So that is the uh, event which is occurring inside the tobacco plant. Now, if a nematode comes and he try to infect this tobacco plant, so what uh, will happen? These small uh, small interferon RNA are present inside the inside this tobacco plant. Now these interferons get inserted into the nematode, 
and then these nematode will interfere the mrna of the nematoda and they gets uh, interfere with this mrna i mean these segments get interfered get inserted into the, this uh, nematode and they gets in, they get interfered with the mrna of the nematode and they silence this mrna once this mrna gets silenced the protein formation will not occur and uh, the infection to this plant will not gonna happen if you like the video subscribe to the channel because uh, you will uh, going to have these uh, tough concepts in a simpler way and i'll try to explain all of these concepts in a very simple and very concise way so do subscribe the channel for good content thank you bye